What's going on guys? Ryan Darks back with another video. With well, spring and summer coming up, we're gonna be in a bunch of different shoes, loafers, nice dress shoes, things like that. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to talk to you guys about different ways to make your shoes last longer throughout the spring and summer seasons or even surpassing the spring and summer season. So with that being said, let's get on to the first item on the list. First item on the list is a cedar shoe tree. Now I say cedar shoe trees because I honestly believe these are 100% worth the investment and the best shoe trees. Cedar shoe trees also have a nice odor to them. So a lot of times throughout the day when we're walking and our feet are sweating, our feet tend to not give the best odor to our shoes. And cedar shoe trees pretty much eliminate this bad odor, give it a much better odor that comes from the shoe after these are placed in the shoe. The cedar shoe trees also absorbs moisture as well. Like I said, when we're walking throughout the day with our shoes, our feet sweat and they get wet and you know all nasty and stuff like that so these cedar shoe trees also absorb that moisture and most importantly they don't cause those ugly creases in our shoes that we all hate so much and get frustrated about so cedar shoe trees prevent those creases i would recommend putting your shoe trees in immediately after you get them when you start to wear them a bunch of times then you decide to put the shoe trees in them you don't really prevent the creases as much so it's good to make a mental note to try to put the cedar shoe trees in immediately after getting those nice new shoes that you get to get the most length out of those nice shoes that you have. So cedar shoe trees, great option, 100% worth the investment. Strad shoe trees are the ones I usually go with. I feel like they're one of the best brands with cedar shoe trees. I love the shape of them. I just love how they're crafted. So I think they're a great brand to look into so that'll be my recommendation if you guys are looking for brands for cedar shoe trees now the next item on the list is a dust bag i'm always so surprised at how many people refuse to give their shoes some dust bag treatment it's very shocking and, and mind-boggling to me but dust bags are important for a few reasons but number one is well you know over time your shoes tend to, when you put them up or you're not wearing them over a length of time, they start to get dust built up on them and dirt. And this just isn't good for the overall, you know, look of the shoe. So dust bags help with preventing those things. So they're great to have for that. Also, they're great to have when you're traveling as well. When you guys are traveling and your shoes are in luggage or things like that, you can just put these shoes in the dust bag here like this strap them up now they're protected you throw them in your luggage and you know a lot of those bruises and bumps they would usually get when you know you're flying or in the car going over some hills bumps speed bumps things like that they're protected now because they're in these nice dust bags so dust bags are a very important item to me um, i have a bunch of them I put my shoes in these all the time a lot of your higher end shoes will um give you dust bags when you purchase the shoes, but more of your um, more affordable shoes, so to say, will not come with dust bags. So it's still an option I would recommend you guys looking into, even when your shoes do not come with them. You can get them on Amazon or Walmart, pretty affordable, 15, 20, $25 for a set um, of dust bags. And they, they come in very handy, very affordable, and definitely worth the investment. So dust bags are very important to have. Definitely recommend you guys checking that out. Next item on the list is cleaning kit. This cleaning kit from mine is Refresh Shoe Cleaner. Unfortunately, I was a little late to the cleaning kit party, but I am glad I made the decision to finally go forward with it. Um, I'm always kind of surprised and shocked at how many people don't clean their shoes, but it's definitely something you guys should be doing. It's been a very dependable shoe cleaner for me. Comes with a touch up a cleaner and conditioner, two cleaner and conditioners, I should say, and a water and stain repellent. And most importantly, comes with a nice brush here as well. As you guys can see there, the brush is extremely important because you know, all this you have to put on the brush and it cleans it. But um, so for example, I'll show you guys, give you a little brief example here. So basically what I'll do is spray the shoe or you can spray the brush either one have your shoe here you would light light spray and you pretty much take the brush here brush them like that gets rid of those marks scratches all those 
unintentional things that you know get built up on your shoe over time when you're when you're wearing it so a cleaning kit is extremely important shoes tend to you know get dirty pretty easily so it's nice to have a cleaning kit i recommend you guys probably clean your shoes once a week twice a week at or once every other week at max just depends on how often you wear the shoe if you wear the shoe you know every day you probably shouldn't be doing that so i recommend you guys maybe convert down to maybe three four times a week this just gives the the most durability with your shoe makes it last a lot longer if you're you know not wearing a shoe as often i would say maybe cleaning them once every other week would be best but you definitely need to be cleaning your shoe guys it's very important and it's going to make them look nice for a lot longer so cleaning kit is very important recommend you guys check them out doesn't have to be refresh shoe cleaner just the one that i so happen to have but there's a lot of other great ones out there as well so make sure you guys are looking into some cleaning kits my next item on the list is a shoehorn kind of late to this party as well but definitely worth the investment glad i have it a shoehorn is important because a lot of times you know we're in a rush to go somewhere and we kind of just wiggle our foot and try to you know wrestle it in there as much as we can this messes up this back part here of the shoe and kind of you know messes up the overall shape here of the shoe as well but with the shoe horn it protects this back part so as you can see my back part of this shoe here it looks pretty much brand new there's nothing really wrong with it or anything like that looks great um, as you guys probably know you own some shoes that you probably have not taken care of and not used a shoe horn and your back probably looks a lot different than my back if you know what I mean so um, that's why shoehorn is important and you basically just put it in like this put the heel of your foot in slips out um, it's very convenient and it also saves you a lot of time when you're putting your shoes on as well so it's also a big time saver and it saves you um, a bunch of time and helps you keep that nice shape of the shoe as you originally got it so guys that is my tips on how to make your shoes last long like i said with spring and summer coming up i know we are looking for ways to get the most out of our nice clean shoes that we'll be wearing this spring and summer time um, but hopefully you guys can implement these principles and you'll be able to see that this really does make you get a lot more use out of your shoes so that's it for me today guys hope you guys got some out of the video make sure to like subscribe and comment hit the bell notification to be notified every time i release a new video that's it for me today. See you guys next time. Thanks. Peace.